Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on advanced ABAP training for RESTful application programming developers. If you are working as a rep developer, joining my ABAP on cloud training, and you're not comfortable with new ABAP syntax, this video series is for you. In this video series, we are learning how to utilize the new concepts of RESTful application programming model with the help of new ABAP syntax. By far in this series, we have seen different variety of new web syntax. In this series, now we are going to talk about single line loop. So by far in this series, we learned about inline declaration, value expression, corresponding, condition and conversion, loop with group by, and also working with single line loop. So let's get started with single line loop. How does it help you? So typically, Loop at ITAP or loop at internal table is a very critical statement in ABAP we use very often. With the new ABAP syntax, you can do all this processing in an easy, easy to write single line statement. So usually what we do, we say loop at internal table into work area. And then inside this, we can put some if condition with work area, some condition, and then we do some processing over here yes we say and if and then we end the loop sometime during this loop you also append your work area to a second internal table i tab 2 now this whole thing what you do can be done in a single line wow how you can say i tab 2 equals to your value expression you can put hashtag if the ITAP2 is already declared, or you can put the table type if the ITAP2 is not declared and you want to do inline data declaration for the same. Then you can say, of course, the loop like syntax for is a keyword. You can put a work area. Now, this work area here will be automatically declared by the system. You don't have to declare it in your ITAP1 parenthesis. And then you can start providing the mapping. So in the ITAP2, let's say you have field A, B, and C. And equivalently in ITAP1, you have field X, Y, and Z. So you've got to provide the mapping. So you have to say my field A in the target maps with the work area dash X. My field B maps with the work area dash Y. My field C maps with the work area dash Z. In addition, you can also provide conditions. Suppose also your ITAP2 have an additional field D. You can say D equal to some hard-coded value, or you can put a condition expression as well to write the extra bit of conditions. That is something which we can do. We end the this one, and we also end the expression. So this is how exactly we can go ahead and add the business logic in the system, and we will be able to loop over all the data yes so we can perform all the logic we can loop over all the data and then we can process the data to get the data in the output in internal table two so that is what we can do yes in the system so let us go ahead and see this example in the system where we are going to process the data moving the data from one internal table to another internal table using one single statement yes with the without any loop yeah and also of course we can provide the conditions over here so i'm going to switch over back and we can just go back to our logic and we will write a new functionality so once again i will reuse this part right on the top and our goal is to add a 12 percent extra tax on top of the ticket price for each booking yeah so that is our goal to move the data in the another internal table so i'm going to come back i will say class i declare a new method s1 loop with single line that's my new function which i'm creating and i can just say this this entire source code is available always to you in the description of this video so kindly check the description you will find the source code what am i coding in my development tool and accordingly you can repeat the same code in your system 
you can take my code and practice this in your system. So now I will have these two lines where I'm declaring a booking table and I'm reading like just first 20 records from my booking table. And now I will declare a, another internal table on the fly. So my original data is in LT bookings. So let me create another internal table. So for that, what I will say is types. And I can say TY, final book. And I can include this particular structure. Plus additional field I will be adding to my newly created type. And I can say uh, the final amount or amount of booking amount after tax. Yes, after tax, we will add the booking amount and new field which is type P decimal up to two decimal points. And then I will end my structure, new structure. And I will also create a table type for this new structure. Like this. So this is how exactly I am creating my next structure, my new structure, which is going to utilize this information while using this. So length must be specified. Okay. We can also specify the length. Okay. So now you can see this is my new structure and this new structure will have the internal table. Okay. System is also giving me a include structure type. So include type, I think we can just add. Okay. So I have got one internal table, which is booking data, but I have another internal table, which is exact booking data. Additionally, I will have the, the booking uh, amount, which is after the tax. And as I mentioned, we need to add an additional tax of 12% to our booking amount. So maybe I will just add here a new variable, goods and service tax, type P decimal 2. And I will add a default value to this LVGST. And this will be 12%. So you can just add 1.12. This is my data, which I have got the tax amount included in the data set. So now what we will do, we will just proceed further to uh, transform the data. So one option for you, you have is loop at your first table. Yes into work area and then you need to do all the calculations here by adding you know work area dash uh, the amount or let's say a variable with the amount equals to uh, you know this GST percentage to be multiplied with the the work area fees yeah the booking booking amount just like this and then you need to move corresponding data from work area to work area two. And then you need to finally say work area two dash final amount, which is this booking amount equals to the amount which you calculated. And then you need to append work area two to your ITAB two, table two. And then you need to say end loop. This is what traditionally as a developer, you would do this whole thing as a traditional ABAP developer, right? Very complex ABAP logic. Now, if this whole thing can be done in a single line, what could have been better than that, right? So let's see how can we achieve this entire thing in a single line, very easy. First of all, I'll do inline data declaration, LT final booking. And of course we use value expression with the table type. Remember the table type which you use here must have with the default key addition added. Yes. And then we can just follow our syntax. So what was the syntax as for the PPT? It is four work area in ITAP. So you say four work area in my internal table booking. Now guys, the good thing is this work area gets declared automatically. We don't have to worry about it. System does this automatically for you. And then we can just have 
all our processing logic down over here. So what I will do, I will say that I will be mapping the data to this final booking. So I will add the travel ID in my target table equals to my source table travel ID. My booking ID equals to my work area booking ID. My booking piece, which is the flight price equals to my source flight price. Yes, and now I have an extra field in my target, which is booking after booking price after the tax, which I will say I am going to um, take this amount, multiply this amount with the tax amount. Wow, this is the beauty. Now, one thing you can notice this amount here is a decimal and that gets multiplied yes so and then final result has to come over there so this becomes your final table and you can see all these six to seven lines is done in just one single line yes superb and now we can finally loop at the data to print this data on the ui so i can just say cl demo output or i can just loop at final booking into data less booking and we can print this data of my travel ID booking ID booking actual price flight price and then the calculated price after the tax has been added to the price. So this is the main logic what we are doing with an inline loop. I can now activate and let's go ahead and execute to see the result. And voila, you can see 438 was the original price. And now after the 12% tax, it become 490. So uh, we are now kind of doing a loop and processing and assignment to second table with just single line. Now, one more interesting part, if I wanted to write some condition here. So I wanted to add a tax of 12% if the amount is more than 400. If the amount is not more than 400, I don't want to add this tax. So in this case, the best part, what I love about this logic is we can add a condition logic also. We can add basically, a condition uh, we can add a uh, add a function to add a condition so what I can do is instead of this rule we will add a condition expression which I taught you in the previous episodes on in this video series so now we can say condition when my work area flight price is greater than 400 yes if it is greater than 400 then what I'm planning to do I wanted to do the multiplication. Yes. Else, I don't want to do this. I want to just put the original price. So only if the flight price is more than 400, then only the tax applies. Else, the tax doesn't apply. So this condition is equivalent of what you do uh, over here. Like, you know, calculations based on, let's say, you can also put here a if conditions like this yeah which you do in classic ABAP and if condition so it's very similar to that it is done all in line i can activate now and let me run of course it is going to be applied now you see 490 but just for the conditional case to test if we say if it is greater than 600 only then you do this so in this case now all the flight flight price amounts as you all know is uh, certainly uh, below 600 so the original price is now coming in the final output. So this way you can perform inline condition checks while the data is moving from one internal table to another internal table. It's a, it's a great example of adding conditions and an inline loop with it transmitting the data to the new table, which is also created on the fly with the inline data declaration. So that's a, another great feature with new ABAP syntax, how you can move data from one table to another. I hope you enjoyed this. In the next episode, we are going to see more interesting facts about 
our new web syntax till then stay tuned kindly subscribe this channel and share this video with your fellow colleagues so that they can also learn new web syntax before they join my restful application programming training with web on cloud with anubhavtrainings.com thank you once again for joining the session see you in the next episode goodbye